Um, not as much. For sure, not as much as last year. I feel way better. Um, just a whole new team that they got. So I definitely don't feel like uh, the weirdness of playing with the guys that I know. And, um, it's a game, man. It's just I'm, I'm really excited to have a damn it, perfect game for me. So that's really what I'm worried about right now. Has the mood felt different this week, just knowing you're going on the road for the first time as a team? Uh, no, it's exciting. I'm happy. I love traveling. Um, my favorite game not only was because of Orchestra, how you know we played, but just it was a real good environment. You know, Coach Wiley just uh, Coach Wiley just told us, you know, the away games is the most memorable ones, the ones that you know you got the fans yelling at you and everything, and you know the home games eventually started to become lost memory because of how much you have them. So, you know, I'm really excited to go to that away game and um, just any game, like I said, playing in general, even if it wasn't here, I'm just really excited to play football this week. Sort of the way through the season, what do you like best about the defense, and what do you still have to work on? Improvement every day. There's no, there's no satisfaction right now. And it shouldn't be with nobody on the team, but especially the defense right now. So uh, it's really a game day every day in practice. Um, that's how we're approaching it. So I think that's the biggest thing. Everybody trying to be a pro and um, individual. And so that with, all the, with being a pro is doing your job and also understanding doing that to help the team. So. What have you done attack and Ray John as they stepped in the past couple weeks? Well, it's been amazing. The whole LB group I've been so proud of. Like, it's just been the most competitive I ever felt in my life. Like, just striving the best, striving, pushing each other every day to be the best. It's really a, a grimy um, competition, a silent grimy competition where we're just really pushing each other. Who can be the best today? Um, and so that's that's really what what you want to see. So, you know, there's a lot of depth. That we've been having a lot of guys that's getting the opportunities. But oh, yeah. Coach Odom told us, like, if you get two plays, you did a lot to deserve those two plays. So there's no, it's no just giving reps out here anymore. So I, I like that. What have you seen from Arizona State on film, and how do you kind of prepare for a team that's kind of going through hurdles when it comes to injuries? Uh, you just wish the best for them. Um, everything on film, they just, they, you know, they got an athletic team. You know, a lot of big guys around in the front. They got bigger guys up front. Um, a lot of dynamic running backs. So, you know, we don't know their QB situation right now, but we just, like I said, just really ready to play football and just see what happens. We don't know their depth chart because a lot of people got hurt and everything. So, uh, we just see what happens when the, when, the, when, the, when the time comes for games. So. Some of your stand out on the field every time I get in. So uh, that's a part of it, yeah. it's bringing the reps and bringing the juice on. Coach Odom told me, like, if you don't bring the juice, you're just a, a, a skinny linebacker. But if you do, you're top in the country. You're one of the best players I ever coached on. I took that to heart. And it was, and you tell yourself the right story every day if you believe in the story. So that's how I really been just It's a good day. It's a good day to play football, a good day to just get better at football. So, And I don't think that's just been my attitude with me, but just with the defense. But I told the guys, like, y'all shouldn't be having me to help get y'all riled up. Like, that's not what I want to be. I don't want to be an emotional leader. So, But if I got to do that to help it get everybody better, then that's what, that's what we're going to do. A lot of guys are already taking making sacrifices, whether it's I, I never, not going never, home during the day and just, you know, staying here and just getting working, lifting a lot and, and eating and doing a lot of stuff off the field, you know, so. Yeah, I love, I love what you're, over the offseason, did you put into your mindset? Your reaction to 49.10? Uh, I would definitely say a lot. Even not even the offseason, during the season, like, as of maybe last week, just really changing my mindset of not being like, worrying about this, or worrying about the ankle, worrying about this and that. Just really trying to be a pro, so. Uh, I feel like this is a really good, refreshing week for me. This bye week was really good for a lot of us, um, especially me, uh, mindset-wise. So I'm really feeling good just trying to be a pro at everything that we're doing. So. What what advice? In the process of becoming a not-so-skinny linebacker, how do you feel you've developed physically over the course of your college career? Uh, it's a long way to go. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not nowhere close to not being skinny right now. So just doing the best I can to use that. But it's, it's everyday progress with that right now. So, yeah. yeah. What advice would you give or are giving the young guys who are going to make their their debut with their just, first road game? I just told them today, um, you're gonna have you're gonna have a lot of you're gonna have a lot of distractions. Uh, and as you as a young guy, you gotta understand, you only gonna get five plays. Out of those five, you need to make a play in one of those five. Um, that's what I tell everybody on the team. Our starters should be starting on special teams. Our starters should be doing this and that. Our starters should be helping the scouts out. Like, um, but especially with the young guys, like, man, it's, it's been got a lot of talent to young kids on our team. And so 
you want to put that talent on the field, but they also got to know what they're doing. So you just, I really tell them, like, man, just know what you're doing. You do your best, you do your job to the best of your ability, you, it's going to get done. Play going to be made. So. I know the coaches gave you guys off weekend, the weekend, were you able to decompress from football, or are you nah, still watching? Nah, football? that's not what pros doing right now. Nah, nah. This is process time, so. Like I said, this this bye week was really a reality check for me and uh, Maze. We sat down, and a whole just LB group sat down and just really talked and had a real talk with each other. So be excited to come back out and just do what we gotta do to play another football game. Uh, it'll be good. Thank you. Sure.